is my fellow Kinis, and my name is Bukini, and today I'm bringing another episode of our Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon Walkthrough Part 21. In the last episode, we went ahead and finally we were able to beat Entei, and um, yeah. So let us get on with the episode and uh, get going here. Uh, let's see what we're going to be doing in today's episode. I'm not exactly sure what we'll be doing in today's episode, as the last episode was quite hard. But thank you to a very, very loyal subscriber of mine, we were able to uh, go ahead and defeat Entei. Give it your all out there, team. Yes, sir! Alrighty. What's this? It seems the Pokemon Nexus on the second floor has been updated. Go access the Pokemon Nexus. Yeah, I don't think we'll be doing that in today's episode, just because, well, yeah. So as you can probably like, you can probably hear from my voice that it, it kind of sounds different. That's because I think I'm starting to get a cold. Um, so I'm really hoping that isn't gonna um, get too, too, too bad. Um, for the so that way I can record. Um, because that has happened in the past where I just get really fucking sick and I can't record. So that's why I'm doing a whole bunch of pre-record episodes right now. Um, so that if I do get sick, I can just upload those. But, uh, yeah, um, so let's go see what we can do, actually. Um, I'm actually, like, I'm quite curious to see what we're gonna do today. It's been a while, I wanted to reach. Uh, okay, yeah, we're not doing your damn secret door mission, man. That is three stars. Actually, we'll do the secret door if we're able to use Salamence. If we can use, if we can do Salamence, we'll do that in today's episode. However, I wanna see what Prof. Rodriguez does. Glorious gold, my gold bar exchange. Exchange my sparkles you got right there. Ex uh, exchange your items. Yo, we got two of these. We actually have to go and get some of these. We have to get reviver seeds. Alrighty, um, I'm gonna get another one there. Because we are out of reviver seeds. We have no more. We have no more reviver seeds. Um, so, yeah, and I want to see how, how many reviver seeds we can buy here, because we have none. We don't have any more. Uh, there, of course, there's no reviver uh, seeds here. That's awful. But let us go and money. Deposit all our cash. There we go. And items. I don't really know what kind of items I have on me. Uh, look at all those plain seeds. We don't need all this shit. That. Um, I don't need that. I don't need that either. I don't need that. Um, I think I'm gonna put you that. I'm gonna put that in there. Yo, where'd we get all these reviver seeds from? What the hell? Yo, where'd we get all these from? I don't know. <laughs> um, what the fuck? What happened here? How did we get all these? No, like, actually, did, is it, do you get, like, five Reviver Seeds for one gold bar? I wasn't really paying attention there, I, I just saw, like, number five there. So that might have been what happened there. Um, I'm gonna put these slow warps away, I don't need these. Um, the Alexers, yeah. We can keep those, I'm gonna keep the Slumber Orbs. We're definitely gonna need some more apples. Um, let's withdraw, I always keep five on me, so there we go, let's get four of those. Because we, we lost a lot of items, if you did not notice that. We lost a shit ton of items. So we're, I'm gonna have to like, get that. Look at that, we got nine of these. Sweet, okay, that's awesome. Um, what else? What else? What else? I wanna see if I can actually teach this to somebody. I wanna see if I can teach that to our good old Riola. Which I doubt, I doubt I can, but I'm just gonna check in case. And if we can't, I'm gonna go ahead and put it back. Oh, it can learn Earthquake. That's awesome. That is fucking amazing. If only I if only I learned Earthquake before we went and battled Entei, that would have been great. Um I think I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to delete vacuum wave here just because it's, Earthquake is so much better. I'm sorry, it's just so much better than freaking vacuum wave. <laughs> Uh, let's see what else. Anything important over here? Uh, I have this letter. There's so much stuff going on. Like, look at that. We got so much missions going on. Uh, but I, I don't know. I don't know who we're gonna do today's episode. To be honest, like, I need to figure out which letter or which uh, which letter, which like request we're gonna be doing. Alrighty, so let's go figure out which request we're gonna be doing. Uh, 
have us go to the connection orb, and I believe we actually got uh, connected with a lot more Pokemon. Um, alrighty, so let's see, let's see, we got, we got Gigalith, Bayleaf, what is Bayleaf going to do? Work. Yeah, okay, you're locked door as well. I'll do the, I'm going to do, I'm, I'm going to do a locked door mission. Matter grows though, check out... I might see a big X. This has a four star. Yeah, no. Uh uh, I don't think we're ready for that. However, some I did read a few com I did read a comment about someone saying that we could go we unlocked Charizard and Tyranitar. So we and we possibly could go and do a missions that are a bit harder. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna go check out what's over here. Forest of Fairies. Ah, fuck. I don't like fairy types because I don't have any moves to counter them. So, I'm sorry I'm not going to be doing that. Hello there. I lost... Yeah, we can go to it. Let's go for... Yeah, let's, let's accept that. And... Grass Continent. Fuck, we think we get that. And then, I want to see if there's any other Pokemon we can go and go to the Grass Continent. Because you guys have been telling me, hey Jake, you can do more than one mission at the place, you know? Like, okay, you're probably not gonna be part of the grass continent. You know what? Let's just get out of here and go by the grass continent pass, which is how much is that gonna be? How much is that gonna set us back? Uh, five passes. Hmm. Shit, that is so much. But you know what? Fuck it, we'll, um,. We'll, we'll withdraw 1200, uh, 1200, Jesus Christ, why are passes so damn expensive? Look at our balance, we only, oh my god, that's, this, this better be worth it, this better be worth it. Um, cause, cause that is so, so expensive, man, that is, no, I'm good for right now. Uh, so now we gotta go down here and talk to Lapras. And there we go, talk to Lapras. Uh, to the grass continent. There we go. I don't think we can have any other Pokemon with us when we go into a different area, to be honest. Look, I think those clouds actually are covering up. Yeah, we're going to a new continent here. Okay, so I don't think we've ever been to the grass continent. Obviously not because that cleared up the clouds. Now you can visit the grass continent. Alrighty, so that it in a in a way it was pretty it was worth it. We unlocked a new continent. Alrighty, uh Soul Rock. Cool, there's a hair across over here. Where's my honey? I don't know man. I don't have your damn honey. Why would I have your honey? I don't know. I may seem I may seem rough, but I know someone really rough. Defeat Pyroar. Oh my lord, fuck no! Uh-uh! I need to see if I can actually, like... What's this? Alright, I need to see if I can actually choose different Pokemon here. Yes, that is awesome. The Friendly Meadow, yes, that- this is great! Ah, we can! Okay, member selection. Now, I wanna see if I can actually use the Pokemon you guys are talking about. How we got... Hey, we do have this Charizard. No, that's, that's Tyranitar. And then we got Charizard. I did not know this. I'm very sorry, guys. Okay, we gotta find a powerful, a very, very powerful Pokemon. Because we're, we're, gonna, be, we're gonna be battling Py uh, Pyroar then. We're gonna go with you. But, however, we are not going to go on this adventure just here. We're going to go talk to Pangoro. And, uh, because, why not? Why not do two things? Why not do two things here? Uh, yes, there we go. And just like that, we have to go battle Pyroar now. I'm actually quite nervous about that. I know we've got... That's on the second floor too. Okay, so that's that's not bad. That's not bad. 
But yeah, we're gonna be using this team. Yes, there we go. No, let's go, damn it. Guess Pokemon. Why? Oh, fuck. We got a Skitty on us and we're battling uh, Pyroar. Shit. Note to self do not use Earthquake. Um, because Earth. I forgot it. Earthquake actually attacks all your opponents. So I just kind of attacked. Yo, we're level 21. Sweet. I just kind of attacked Michael and uh, Salamence here. Um, so that was kind of bad. <laughs> Rescue is not available on next floor, so be careful. Alrighty, so you know it's gonna be a hell of a hard boss battle if there's no rescue available. Attention, attention! Alrighty, okay. You know what we're gonna be doing with Pyroar here, eh? You know what we're doing with Pyroar? We're gonna be using a Totter Orb, because I do have one of those. I actually picked one of those off. Let's use that little fucking Totter Orb. Now this thing's like, confused as hell. And that was blown away. Pyro has a fucking hyper beam. Uh uh, no, this. That just killed me. Yes. Fuck you, Pyro. Fuck you! We're gonna use Earthquake on this motherfucker, even on the like, skinny thing. Are you serious? Fuck. Yeah, I used it, whatever. That's why I should have not used that. Fuck. Um. Even I even told myself no to self, don't use that because it attacks everyone. Can we like defeat this pyro already? Like seriously, what is Oh my, what is this thing's damn like There we go, we defeated Pyro. Great job! Thank you very much. Now we gotta go find Skitty because we lost Skitty. How did you defeat me? You are really cool! I like you a lot. The clan Pang Pangora will be thrilled. The connection orbit starts shining. Alrighty. So, I think we're, we befriended Pyroar now. And we possibly might have been befriended Pangoro. Hmm, that unlocks Absol and Manectric for us. Not bad. I was, I was actually kind of looking for... No. Okay, well, I'll see you guys back once we go ahead and find a little... So yet again we lost because apparently Fairy Swipes does a shit ton of fucking damage in this game. Congratulations Mystery Dungeon Game, you fucked me over once again. Fuck you, like honestly, what the hell? Literally Fairy Swipes killed me in one hit. One hit with Salamence, one hit. It's not a hot day one, it's not a hot one today, ain't it? Oh, it's way too sunny out here. I feel like I'm gonna melt. Hmm, let's see, it really is getting closer, isn't it? No matter how you look at it. Pardon me? Anybody home? Huh, a visitor? Oh, it is a visitor! I'm on my way! Hold on just a minute! Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm the only one here right now. Sorry it took me so long. Well then, what brings you here? Are Michael and Cobalt around here somewhere? Cobalt told me they'd be coming here. I just came to see the kids were doing. Oh, you know Michael and Cobalt? Sorry, they're out working right now. They should be home pretty soon. Never mind that here they are. M -m Mr. Nuzleaf? Nuzleaf! Michael Cobalt, long time no see. What's up? Well, I was already right close to Lively Town on some other business. Decided I might as well come to see how y'all doing. We're doing really fucking shitty. We lost all our items again. Hooray! Oh yeah, get a load of this, Mr. Nuzleaf. We're able to join the Expedition Society. Who, who is it? Watch it now. I thought y'all be ready to really dig in your heels until they let you in. But I had never imagined you'd get in so easy. I thought he's, I thought kids could enjoy an expedition society though, huh? Even if they're just kids, they're fully fledged expedition society members. Amphros made an exception for them. Michael, who is this Pokemon? He's Mr. Nuzleaf. He was my next door neighbor. Cobalt was living with Mr. Nuzleaf back in Serene Village. Oh, I see. Thank you for coming all this way. These were early giving it. They're all here at the expedition society. That sure is nice to hear. I reckon I should thank you for them taking such good care of him. Cobalt, 
Nuzleaf, I'm sorry. I didn't say goodbye to you when you left the village. Are you still worrying about the way you all snuck out of the village? Don't you pay no debt, never mind, I don't understand. More importantly, you, do, you sure do look great, Cobalt. Well now, how about the memories of yours? Anything come back to you? I see. Well, how about the BM? Seen him around these parts? Be him those Pokemon who were after you, right, Cobalt? Have you seen them around Serene Village since we left? I heard they were hanging around this outside of the village when we left. I haven't seen hide hide nor air of him. Then BM attacked me too, I'll have you know. I don't pack all the things I can hide till at any time. But for some reason they're never they there. They never did come to the village. I see. I guess it's good that we haven't seen them, but there's something creepy about that. Hey, Cobalt, what's this about some Pokemon who are after you? Oh, yeah, I guess we haven't told all the Expert Society members about that. What? Cole is actually a human? Well, alright, got it. Okay, Cobalt is a human, right? You sure got used to that quick. I reckon most Pokemon would be quite shocked. Why they might say, no way, or really? Sorry, I guess there are some strange ones in the Expedition Society already. Well, this probably happens all the time, right? No, I reckon it has never happened. But any anyway, somebody's after Cobalt, right? Got it. Leave it to me. I'll let everybody know so we can all protect Cobalt together. Well, I reckon that I'm at my... Well, let us reread that, Jake. Well, I reckon that might be mighty helpful. I'll be taking my leave of you then. Sure, it was nice to see you two doing so well, Michael and Cobalt. Congrats on joining the Expedition Society. Work hard out there. Take care on your way home, Mr. Nuzleaf. Say hi to everybody in the village for us. What? You were... You used to be a human, you see? And you have no memory of it either? And there's somebody after you? I like how everyone's just like, whatever, I'm just gonna eat my food. <laughs> that is pretty funny, you gotta admit that. Back there at dinner, when Jirashi told everyone about your past, everybody just accepted it like it was no big deal at all. That's one way of looking at it. I'm pretty sure they just wanted to hurry up and eat. Everybody said they would look out for you if anything happened, so you can feel safe while we go about our work for ex for the Expedition Society. Let's get back out there tomorrow. Yeah, and I think from now on I'm not gonna have fucking items on me anymore because I keep dying. Like seriously, how does Fury Swipes, out of all moves, kill a level 50 Salamence in one go? Not even joking. In one go, it killed Salamence. Like what the fuck? How is that even possible? I know I'm just like rambling on right now and I seem really pissed off, which I am because it's, it's really hard like lo losing all your fucking items each time because bullshit like that happens. I don't know what is that. Oh yeah, it's an orange berry. You know what? I think from now I'm just gonna keep two Reviver Seeds on me and whatever else, whatever other items I get from the dungeons. That's, that's it. I'm not gonna keep anything else on me anymore. Like fuck this. I'm sick and tired of losing all my damn items. And, oh, of course, I'm gonna get some apples, too. Those, I need those. And, no, I'm gonna drop two of those. Yeah, that should be good enough. Okay, um... Hey there, do you got any Reviver Seeds or, like... Uh, got tiny Reviver Seeds? Yeah, I'm gonna go buy those. Yeah, I know, we shouldn't be spending all our money, but we... Honestly, we lost a crap ton... Survivor seeds when we were uh, in that damn Ente place. So, yeah, buy that. There we go. Are you serious? Right, fuck you. I forgot it's. I need to draw 360. Um, there we go. Whatever. We'll have one. I don't want to buy your stupid ass passes that are like $1,200. Like, what? In what world do you buy 
like I guess I guess plane tickets are that much like not even like I you can literally buy plane tickets to like the Bahamas or like Florida right now for I think it's like I think it's like 250 there and 250 back which is insane like that's so cheap um I guess in a way it also isn't that cheap because it's like gonna cost you like $500 but think about it you're traveling you're traveling quite far like for me it's it's almost like a seven hour flight because of how far I am from Florida but for some of you guys it's probably really close uh which air which which job are we gonna do today I don't think we're gonna be doing this skinny one because fuck that I'm gonna go I'm gonna go back there a little later um yeah no you're making me go to the air continent I'm not going there Water continent. Wait, how? We I don't think I don't even know. I, I'm not gonna go to any continent just because of how fucking hard it is. Yeah, you're the water continent as well. But it's just the Polyrath River. Like, haven't I been there? No, you know what? We're gonna do something that's around here. Actually, I wanna go see if if it's if we can go to the water continent. We'll do Rampardos. And, um, we'll do the Rampardos mission and the Lillipop mission. I think I'll be here for this episode then. Uh, can we go to the water continent? No, we can only go to the air continent. So, I, I guess we can go do the air continent mission then, which is with Wineland, I believe. I don't get why we can't do the water continent because we we were we were didn't we do yeah we battled Polyraph and it says the Polyraph River so unless there's a different Polyraph River oh you're the water continent which one's the air continent then what is it you that's the air continent yeah it's you okay so who else needs to go to the air continent then? you're going to the water continent. Let's see if there's anything else we can do in the air continent. Okay, let's see. Connection orb. Yeah, fuck you, stupid ass skitty. I'm gonna go there later on. Sand continent? No, I don't have access to that. Let's go to the air continent now because we found a mission, uh, which is uh, you'll find out which Pokemon it is. It's on the sixth floor. It's three stars. So I'm hoping it's not gonna be that hard. Uh, the air continent. Go. Yes, sir. Let's go to the air continent. Please and thank you, Mr. Lapras. I like this little animation they have right here. Like that is so cool. Thank you. Now we gotta go deliver a, a letter to Cincino. If I can find Cincino. That's the thing here. That's the thing. Mm, Cincino actually might be in here because that's where Ampardos was. Oh, yeah, that, and I was right. <laughs> okay. Cal, yeah, there we go. What a letter from Ampardos. Thank you. Let me see. It's kind of dull, but I'm very happy. Great job. Well, thank you. Even though that required like a little effort. <laughs> Whatever though, I think we're actually connected with Rampardos now, maybe? Yeah, we are. Sweet, okay, so we're connected with them. And that unlocks... A shit ton of Pokemon. That looks like Flygon, to be honest, and Hydreigon. Wow, that unlocked quite a few Pokemon. Okay, well, the Kangaskhan Cafe is right here. You know, we're, we'll get those once we clear the dungeon. Yo, it's Shaman! My name is Shaman. My flowers bloom when I sense gratitude. Aw, Shaman. I fucking love Shaman. I don't know why. I think it might be because it's so cute. I just love the design of Shaman. It's, oh, it's just oh, it's so cute and snuggly. 
Alrighty, well, once I'm done orgasming over <laughs> sheep, and we'll go to the mysterious plains. That's a lot of places we can go visit now, Jesus Christ. Uh, I wanna go to the mysterious plains. Finders, keepers, and warlords. Okay, well, I need to get a good Pokemon here. Uh, member selection, yes. I feel like I should get, like, Dragonite or uh, Tyranitar here. I feel like Tyranitar is gonna be the better one for this mission. Just because it's the Air Continent, and while well, he has Thunder, he has Thunder, um, fucking Thunderfang. Alright, it can't argue with you, okay. Alright, uh, fuck. Forgot, that's that's the problem with uh, Tyranitar. Well, all she has. Holy oh, shit! Jesus Christ. Alrighty, um. This might actually be a, quite a hard mission. Look at that! I- Oh my god! One hit! One hit and I'm dead! Well, I'll see you guys back if we do make it through this dungeon. I don't even know if we're gonna make it through this dungeon, to be honest. So we found Aurora's treasure, which was on- I guess it was on the 6th floor. I thought it was on the ninth floor for some reason. I don't know why I thought that. But we actually cleared that dungeon uh, mission, even though Riolo died and Michael died, and yeah, everyone has died. It's, it's, I, it, I, then again, it was my fault for that because Tyranitar isn't probably is. And by Or's introduction, oh boy, what is happening here? Hey, we've connected with Dragonair Milo taking cast form. Oh, this okay, this Dragonair. Okay, that that's fine. Dragonair is still a very, very impressive Pokemon. Uh, let's just say there's anything else we're gonna do, so okay, let's just exit that. Yeah, that was my fault. The Tyranitar probably wasn't the best Pokemon to go on an adventure with, with uh, the Sandstream ability. I guess it's still very hot. <laughs> to me, me, honestly, I don't mind the warmth. I guess it's because I'm Canadian. So that's why I'm like, hey, fucking sun, I would love that. Where everyone else is like, oh, it's too hot. Oh, it's so hot. Phew. It's been so hot lately. I can't take it anymore. Oh, Jesus Christ. The sunlight like, feels stronger than usual, too. Cobalt, it's times like these that you just have to eat a ton. If you eat enough, you'll get their energy back. No, it's times like these where you have to keep yourself hydrated. Otherwise, you're literally going to pass out from dehydration. Have you heard? Yes, I have. About Pokemon being turned to stone, right? Well, terrifying, ain't it? The trouble with the Pokemon that have been turned to stone. That reminds me of Latios and Latias. Those Pokemon were turned to stone in, on the Air Continent. Who would do such a thing and why? I think Amphro suspected Entei, but it looks like he was wrong. There's something not quite right about this heat wave, too. What in the world is going on? Global warming, man. Global warming. That's all I gotta say. Turning to stone. It's even happening, legendary Pokemon and mythical Pokemon. Something's after us, trying to turn us to stone. I mean, who could be behind, be behind all this? And where will they strike next? Well, I think that's it for today's episode. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And, and, and uh, yeah, until next time, peace on to you guys then. As always, thank you for watching. Also, just, just a quick little side note here. You know what I really don't understand about these Pokemon being turned into stone? Couldn't Dialga just use a roar of time and make everything go back to the way it was? Since he is the controller of time, couldn't like that be a solution? I don't really know. But hopefully we'll figure out what's going on in the next a few upcoming episodes. Until next time, peace on to you guys then and I hope you guys have a wonderful day.